you, our esteemed viewers of AIT TV. Well, it's me, Taj Devin, with you on the travel show. The AIT travel show dubbed the best of the West. This is where we feature the best within the Western region. And uh, today, this early morning, I bring to you Mbarara City. And uh, I pose a question to you all. What do you know about Mbarara City, specifically Mbaguta Street? We've heard all around the city, Mbaguta Street, a famous street that is within this region. So what do you know about it? If there's anything you know, pull it down there in the, sec in the comment section below and we'll be reading it while we are continuing with the show. So I would like to once again bring to you a hit TV where it is located. Uh, we are located here in Imbarara in the southwestern part of Uganda and it's at Plot 24 Positai Street and uh, next to Memory Region offices. And for all of you, who have any tech, any innovation out there and any idea you'd want to bring on board? Yeah, Empower Youth in Technology has got you covered. You can come and you learn. You don't learn business mentorship. Would like to get uh, skills in uh, technology, programming, coding, everything. They've got you covered. You can come and you'll experience the best with them. So today, what lies in my background? This is Mbaguta Street that I was talking about, and uh, what you all can definitely long like today I would like to give you a hint on on the background that is it everything that is here called this street where is it in Baguta so we are going to bring to you this history stay with us on a hit TV and stay tuned in we're going to be bringing to you the best it's a, a hit TV with Ken Safari is limited and this very early morning, we are bringing you the AIT Travel Show. Thank you.
Okay, so right now where I'm standing, uh, this is uh, the famous well-known Amahembe Gente. And uh, right now, for anyone who is coming from uh, the central part of Uganda, uh, this, is, uh, this is the statue that welcomes you into the region, majorly showcasing uh, the famous Longhorn cattle within Ankole. And uh, still, like, we are still traversing uh, Mbaguta Street. And Mbaguta Street comes from the other side and uh, joins uh, Joins here on this roundabout, and uh, the Amahembe, this is Amahembe Gate, and uh, we are still continuing on with the traversment of Mbaguta Street, and we'll be bringing up more onto you with a Yeet TV and Kenya Safaris Limited. Remember, travel and traverse. Thank you all. Stay tuned in. Do you have Uganda at heart? How about buying products made in Uganda by Ugandans from a Ugandan online shop anywhere, anytime? Introducing GuzaUG.com, a one-stop center for Uganda's locally made products by Uganda. Build Uganda. So a few days ago, you joined the crowds in the market for your fresh fruits. You'd equally brave the risky streets, exposing yourself to the virus. Cut the hustle. If you're in Barara, all your fresh fruits can now find you on your doorstep. Download a Let's Farm Shop app from Play Store to order now. Street, the one we are, we are going to showcase to you right now and uh, bring to you the hidden story. Like uh, we were earlier communicating along the street, uh, we were telling you all the time we're going to bring to you the story, we are going to tell you everything, we are going to narrate it all along here. So right now we are going to begin the entire story. Uh, that, was, uh, the, uh, that was the tour that we had around. Uh, this is in, that was in Barara City and along that street, that's Mbaguta Street that you are looking at. And it was named after Nuwe Mbaguta. Yeah, he was, he, he was a famous, well-known person in the 20th century. And he, he was a, a successful Nkole, he was a successful Nkole leader by then. And he, right now I'm going to begin narrating the story, everything about him, where he came from, why is it that the street is named after, after his name. And he, Nuwe Mbaguta, Remains, he rem his story remains uh, hidden till now, despite the fact that he was a well-known person. And uh, I would like to inform you that he was the first former Nganzi of Nkore region, and he was born in uh, Nyan Nshara and in Nkore 1867. Mbaguta had uh, a distinguished pedigree, and his grandfather had served in the court of Omugabe Gasyonga, First, Gabukundu. His father had been a courtier and senior military leader under the, um, under the Omugabe, Mutambuka, Rubinga. Naturally, Mbaguta entered the royal court, serving Omugabe in Tare 5, Yachiboga, just as the British were taking control of Unkole. Yeah, he was a man of extraordinary vision, sense of timing, and the progressive author authoritarianism and the uncanny ability to take advantage of the changing landscape at the dawn of colonialism. So you can really see that the man is definitely famous and we have to know about him and this is the story we have to keep on showcasing to you. Uh, this all comes in line with the cultural tourism and the historical tourism. We would like to bring to you and unveil all this. A lot has been neglected within our region and this, this is one of the reason, reasons why Nkole still remains uh, without a clear background. So today we are still continuing and we are going to read more about uh, 
Mbaguta. So Mbaguta, like I earlier told you, was a man of vision and he had integrity. And Mbaguta became one of the most successful Nyamparas, that means the headsmen and the, of the British colonial state. First, uh, he signed the Ankole British Agreement, August 29th, 1894, on behalf of King Intare V, Rujingiza. This act alone elevated his statue and confirmed him as Britain's main man in Nkole. And when, he, when you visit Nkole Hill, when you visit that hill in the, in the Ankole region, where the palace is located, uh, you will see there is a monument there that was set up in commemoration of Mbaguta. And the last time we visited the, that hill, uh, for those of you who are in Barara, this is Kamukuzi Hill that I'm talking about. And this is where the Ankole Palace, is, this is where the Ankole Palace construction is taking place, and this is where the palace is also. So Mbaguta, he was a brilliant brick, brickmanship, and he, he, seconded the, the, he seconded and defeated the prince, Eria, Kaisi, Ruchirana, and he, who had usurped the throne following the death of Omugabe, Ntare V, in 1895. Baguta mobilized and supported the, and mobilized the support of Kabaka, Basamola, two of Uganda, and the British colonial authorities to install the young Prince Kahaya Mwene Igumira on the throne of Unkole. From then on, Baguta literally, the king, ma the king maker, became the real power behind Omugabe Edward Solomon Kahaya. He was so powerful in the fact that he upstaged the king in the exercise of executive authority, whereas he was resented by many Unkole aristocrats. Few doubted his commitment to transform Nkore into a modern nation. As you can see right now, Nkore, where Nkore is, this is Mbarara city, and currently it has been upgraded to city status. Uh, to a very large extent, Mbaguta has succeeded, succeeded, and he used his partnerships with the British administrators and other colonial agents to entrench, to entrench colonial government, to spread the Anglican region, and to establish communication systems, health services, and Western education. So this is why you see all around civilization is currently, it is all elevating within the region. Uh, such, such was Zimbabwe's determination to implement transformative change and development in Nkole that he never hesitated to gain recalcitrant citizens. He was the original Kishanja, Hakuna Mochezo, part of his phrase name was Omushambo Okunisa Chiboko. He of the Washambo clan who, who willed the cane. Oktera is Ambaguta. This is a famous phrase all of you know about. Nisa Oktera is Ambaguta. So all of you out there, you know that is world famous. Most, most people know it. And it, here it all, it all brings to you what it means. So Oktera is Ambaguta is a Ruchiga Rinyankore expression that means caning someone, Mbaguta style. So in him, the British found a very dependable collaborator in the mold of Sir Apollo Kagwa of Buganda. Uh, the, the British District Commissioner of Unkore, 1931 and up to 1935, described Mbaguta as a man of ex exceptional administrative ability, a, stall, a stalwart, and a fighter, a wise counselor, a loyal subject, a generous host, a staunch friend. The British reciprocated Mbaguta's loyalty by giving him enormous power over an expanded Nkore kingdom that was renamed Ankole in 1901. Baguta retired from the premiership in 1938, an influential and healthy man, an honored member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, whose assets included the house in Uruharu, an upscale suburb of Mburara, and at least 40 square miles of land. Baguta's house is said to be the first 
private residence that was roofed with amabati, that is corrugated iron sheets in English, and in Inkore, he died at the Chakabunga on August 10th, 1944, exactly two months before the death of Mugabe Kahaya II. 70, 74 years after his death, there, there is very little evidence of Mbaguta's personal wealth. His land holdings in the Mburara area were, appear to have been reduced to a small piece that is around his house itself in a very sorry state. Although I have not been able to establish its, age, its exact age, Mbaguta's house dates back to the first three decades of the last century when his wife and, he, and them visited the home on January 8th and 9th that, that, that year. Uh, they were amazed by its architecture and functional design. Set back about 200 meters from the road, uh, the four-bedroom house with a spacious living room. It is separated by a dining room and a hallway. Must, must have been quite a, an impressive palace when Mbaguta was in his residence. So Mbaguta was a very, very famous man by then, and uh, all that is his background. However much it is not clear, but uh, this is what we could actually get. And next one we're going to be taking you to the commemoration where it is where it is set exactly, and uh, that's why in the street was named after his name, Mbaguta Street. And uh, for all those who never knew what. Nzakutera is Mbaguta Ziatilema never meant. Now you know the meaning. And uh, for today, that is it on the Eid Travel Show. And uh, I would like once again to, to inform you that uh, Employee to Technology is an organization that is located here in Imbarara. And uh, if you have any technological innovation, you want to be mentored in business, you want anything to develop in terms of ICT, yeah, it, Empowered in Technology has got you covered. You can come here and uh, they will teach you everything you need to know. And for the youth out there, I advise you to come and be here at AHIT. If you have any research to conduct anything, AHIT has got you covered. And uh, as well, for those who are watching, you can please leave us with a comment in the section below and you share to your friends and we say that we continue this whole travel show going. Thank you for viewing us. This is it for this Saturday on the travel show. We are going to be bringing next week, we are going to be bringing on to you another agritourism session. For those who don't know agritourism, this is where agriculture is combined with the, the tourism sector. And we are going to be bringing to you a farm well known here in Imbarara. So let me not speak much. We are going to unveil to you the, the farm next week. Thank you. Stay tuned in. Do you have Uganda at heart? How about buying products made in Uganda by Ugandans from a Ugandan online shop anywhere, anytime? Introducing GuzaYuji.com, a one-stop center for Uganda's locally made products by Uganda. Build Uganda. So a few days ago, you joined the crowds in the market for your fresh foods. You'd equally brave the risky streets, exposing yourself to the virus. Do you have Uganda at heart? How about buying products made in Uganda by Ugandans from a Ugandan online shop anywhere, anytime? Introducing GuzaYuji.com, a one-stop center for Uganda's locally made products by Uganda. Build Uganda. I